Or it is asking to the light to show how to obtain the inverse of this function. We know that for any function f, when we substitute the inverse, we should get back x itself. By using the function given, and we replace x with inverse, and we should have inverse square plus inverse is equal to x. Now we should rearrange the equation. So we obtain inverse square plus inverse plus move forward minus x is equal to 0. By taking the inverse as unknown, and we should have a is equal to 1, b equal to 1, and c equal to minus x. Recall the formula, the root formula of quadratic function. x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, which means that the inverse is equal to minus b minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square minus 4, a is equal to 1 and c is minus x divided by 2 times 1, 2a. So which means that we should have minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square is 1, negative 4 times negative x is positive 4x divided by 2. And we know that for any real number, when we take square root, this part must be at least 0. So that is defined at the point x. So more than equal to 0, which means that x is at least plus move over minus times 4 move over divide 4. And hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.